Every year, about 300,000 babies die from congenital heart disease due to a lack of treatment in the countries where they were born. Pediatric cardiac surgeon Dr. William Novick has made it his mission to save their lives. When you fix a child's heart in a country where that could not happen, there's nothing that will replace the look on the parents' eyes when you come out and talk to them and tell them, your child survived, your child's gonna be fine now. That look is the look that keeps driving you back. Another Cardiac Alliance was founded in November of 2014. I'm very proud of the fact that as far as the care of children with heart disease, I have very few deficits. Clearly it's a TGA VSD. The other thing that you look for is you look to make sure that there's no fibrous ridge on the VSD. Now part of that could be the fact that I've operated on over 10,000 children. This is not a brag, this is just a fact. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That looks perfect. My style of leadership, I am a hard charger. Up, up, up. More. Never off. The vent will never, ever be turned off until the end of the case. I lead by example. Even though I'm now 65, there are very few people in this team that even outwork me today at this age. And they're all, all younger than me. Working in Libya provides its own special set of challenges. You're dealing with two governments, civil war, a revolution that occurred, and now ongoing conflict in the area around Tripoli. You have to be aware of your surroundings. You need to keep up with security personnel so that you know what's going on. Oh, I'm not going to wait a typical Libyan five days to get an answer. And be ready to move quickly if necessary. I've seen a lot, I've done a lot, and I know that conducting a pediatric cardiac surgical operation, you have to be able to multitask. There's no pediatric heart surgery in the country, and there are 500 children born annually with surgical heart disease, and a number of those children are gonna die in the first month of life. And by the time they're one year old, 50% of those kids will have died. All of these children deserve an opportunity for life-saving cardiac surgery. You cannot expect for a country's children to become dependent upon your intermittent service trips. The warm and fuzzy is really fantastic, but if we don't leave behind an independently functioning operating team, when we leave, then we really have failed the children of the future and the country in our mission. Pediatric cardiac surgeon and the founder of the Novick Cardiac Alliance, Dr. William Novick, joins us today. And I know, Dr. Novick, that you don't do this in any way, shape, or form for personal praise, but I applaud you so very much for the work that you're doing. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Novick, you. Thank you, thank you. In all of our minds, you, you represent what is right with physicians and with medicine in general. You are truly a hero to us and thank you for coming. And, I, and I, one of the things I love about the Nova Cardiac Alliance is you're teaching individuals in these countries how to take care of these babies. Can you highlight some of these dangerous situations your missions have gone into? The one that really, I think, jumps out at everybody uh, has to be the March 1999 trip to Belgrade, Yugoslavia. And you may recall that there was a little bit of a problem with the Yugoslavians and genocide in Kosovo at the time. We had a program that we were running in Yugoslavia at Belgrade at the Mother and Child Institute. And there was a lot of concern about making this particular trip. But I looked at the situation. I said, well, uh, the Serbs are coming to Paris for the peace talks on the Monday after we've arrived. Surely they'll be there a couple of weeks arguing. And we can do our work and get out of the country before anything happens. Wrong. We flew in, we operated the first week, and on Friday I get a call from the U.S. Embassy. We're evacuating, we would like to pick your team up. I said, uh, I'm not sure my team wants to leave. What do you mean, you have to leave? There's imminent threat, this is crazy. I said, well, one of the reasons that we stayed is there were two children that at the time were a week old and had a very complex defect that the Serbians had never operated on successfully. And if we didn't operate on the kids, I knew they would die within a month. That's really the reason that we stayed. 